Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review, it was on TV the other night, thought I'd watch it, give it a review as I usually do, and that film in question is Doom. Now, Doom is a few years old, it was made in uh, 2005. Main stars of the film are Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Roseman Pike and Carl Urban. Now the film is set in the future in 2046. A group of soldiers called the Double RTS. They are known as the Rapid Response Ta Tactical Squad and these are the sort of pe people like the SAS uh, they go in and they just get jobs done. Uh, anything that the government want then they go up there and destroy it. Simple as that. This certain mission that they've been sent on is in Mars. Now, the way to travel is called the Ark. And the Ark was discovered in the Nevada desert. And this is like a wormhole. It goes from A to B pretty quick. And uh, it, A to B just happens to be on Mars. And on Mars is um, an area that has been colonised by people of Earth. So we've now taken Mars. Fair enough. Uh, the story begins where a scientist, Dr. Cormac, and his crew of scientists up on Mars are being attacked. Being attacked by a level 5 creature, uh, you don't really see what it is until later on in the film. The gist of the story is that the R double RTS have to go up to Mars and retrieve anything that is UAC property. And UAC stands for Union Aerospace Corporation. So they're the people who are doing uh, scientific tests up on Mars. And of course they want the ship back. Fair enough, this is where they send the RTS. Now The Rock is a sergeant. He is in charge of several different people, um, including Carl Urban. Now Carl Urban's sister just happens to be working on Mars. Had a bit of a falling out, haven't seen each other for a long time. So there's a sort of eye candy, Rosamund Pike, she's the eye candy of the film. Uh, she's also the sister to one of the army rangers who are going to, to save the day. The reason really that they're going up there is to, like I've mentioned, retrieve any UAC um, property. While up there there is a twist and the twist is not really a spoiler but it is that uh, on Mars they were doing research and found that certain life forms on Mars, probably not alien life forms, but they were humanoid enough to have an extra chromosome. Now this extra chromosome was the 24th chromosome and it made them people smart. It made them strong and inseparable to illnesses, which is great by the sounds of it. However, if you saw the results in the film, then you probably wouldn't think so. Now there is a moment in the film um, which is based upon the self-titled games. Games are pretty cool. I do want to get back and collect them because they're all right. They're a good first-person shooter. And mentioning first-person shooters in the film, you do actually have a moment of Carl Urban's character going along and kicking ass in first-person mode. This is pretty cool. I don't recall it ever being used in uh, previous films of any sort at all. So that's pretty cool to see, really. Uh, the Rock as well, his character has um, a BFG, which is a big fucking gun. Apparently it's the biggest gun ever used in film history. How true that is, I don't know. I did read it somewhere. Uh, it's pretty cool to see. Unfortunately, it's not used as often as it probably should be. There is a big-ass battle right at the end of the film, uh, which is pretty cool. That's good to see as well. Um, it kind of set it up for a sequel. Part of me wants to see a sequel just so that a Doom franchise of films does keep rolling. Uh, who knows if it does, I don't know. Um, I haven't heard of any news yet, but uh, I kind of hope it does. But guys, uh, that was my pretty quick review of uh, Doom from 2005 starring The Rock, Rosamund Pike and Carl Urban. Hope you like it, thanks for watching. Don't forget, we the Devoted, links are down below as per usual. You want to save some money? Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items. Links down below as per usual. But Doom was on TV the other night, thought I'd watch it, give it a review and all that as I do. So thanks for watching my review of Doom.